Time now to rejoin Rob Goring, our motorcycle paramedic in Sheffield. Rob tells us about the advantages of using a bike in his job and also talks us through some of the kit that he carries on his pan-European. There must be huge advantages to using a bike in your job. Yeah, in Sheffield, um, especially at rush hour times, mm. traffic's just log jammed. Right. Um, so obviously with a bike, we've got a, a big advantage getting through traffic. Are there any disadvantages of a bike? Apart from um, the obvious weather. Uh, no, not really. Uh, we, we carry uh, as much gear as I would require being right. a paramedic to treat people right. on scene, uh, sustain life and uh, until right. the ambulance backs us up. Right. So, well, let's talk about the bike then, uh, Pan-European. Yeah. Uh, looks a bit like a police bike. It is, it's you a Pan-European police spec bike. Oh, is it? Right. Yeah. So you get mistaken for a policeman yes. very often. Right. quite often. All right, so with the kit that you carry, what sort of kit do you carry? You've got the, you know, yeah, the, the Yeah, we've got uh, the f full pannier kit. Um, uh, this this side um, is uh, is the bag that we use most of the time, um, and in it we've got sort of oxygen and a full drug pack and oxygen masks and bandages and dressings and everything like that. Right. Okay. So when we get to a job, we'll just uh, whip the panty down and take that in with us. Yeah. Okay. And uh, on the other side, if I could move around here. <coughs> This bag, uh, luckily we don't use this as often because this is a bag which deals with people uh, who are in cardiac arrest. All right. Okay, so there's a defibrillator which right. shocks your heart back into a, a rhythm. That's the jump start kit, That's is it? correct, yeah. Uh, yeah okay. uh, we've got a bag of masks and we've got an advanced airway kit there right. uh, to secure an so advanced So that's serious airway. stuff, isn't it? That's is serious stuff, yeah. So if I'm lying on the road and you get that bag out, I'm obviously not very well. You're in trouble. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> so you just you flip your panniers up and yeah. grab, you can grab both the bags, can't you, and, and lug it to the... Uh, That's correct, yeah, just one thing. bag in each hand uh, and straight in. What's in here, then? <coughs> OK. In the top uh, is... Uh, that's, oh, right. that, that's a paediatric kit with specialist paediatric... Uh, that, you know, for kids, neck obviously. Neck brace type stuff that, and all that's that. That's a neck brace, yeah, for people yeah. that have been in road accidents yeah. uh, and what have you. And then we've got... Uh, in here we've got drips, all right, if you want to put a drip up. All right. Okay, and uh, lots of needles and cannulas and things. Blimey. All right, and then in there, that's uh, the electronic gizmos behind the satellite navigation system. That's a CD. You don't have the BGs on there <laughs> as you're going. Out. What is it? This Much as I would like to. CD player, that. It's a CD-ROM drive oh, for right. the satellite navigation. Oh, you've got sat nav on this. We have, yes. Have we, you? We've got a nice young lady that tells us where we're going. So she taught you into the job and all she, that. Yeah, your, your headset. Yeah, she's just saying 300 meters turn left, 200 meters turn right, etc. And 50 metres turn left, and you're doing 85 mile an hour with your blue lights on. Yeah, we have a problem then, don't we? <laughs> you do have a problem, right. <laughs> so, so, I mean, can I ask you this? As, as a biker, you must get sent to, um, to bike incidents, to, to, you know, a bike crash. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we're quite near the, uh, the Snake Pass and the yeah. Woodhead, and uh, we do get a lot of, in the summertime especially, right. obviously. We get bring a lot it home to you, that. Being yeah. a biker as well. Yeah, it's, it's a strange feeling uh, riding to a job, imagine. knowing that someone, that bike is hurt at the other side. Right, I yeah, see. It's, it's quite strange. You must have had some special training for this, have you? Yeah, we, we had a selection process, yeah. which South Yorkshire Police were heavily involved in. Um, and we had to have been riding for so long, yeah. and uh, we had to have an interview and everything else. And then uh, and an assessment. And then we did, uh, the, the police designed a specialist course for us, which is to police class one standards. Mm -hmm. um, we, but it's a week shorter than the police course because they do stopping of suspect vehicles and right. things like that. And we didn't have to do that, obviously. Right, right. So, yeah, it was it were a great course. So, really. basically, a, pl a police trained motorcyclist, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, that's right. correct.